here, right at the edge of our village, is Monkey Forest. We had no idea. Whoa! <laughs> you see, I haven't had the best luck with monkeys. And uh, that's why I didn't want to go to Monkey Forest. <laughs> had no desire. Oh, I think they say not to. <laughs> okay. Okay. They make sure you're watching. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. <laughs> what have we got here? Well, you're currently walking into our villa in Bali. <laughs> <sighs> Feels pretty good. Good. Pretty good, huh? Hey guys. Good morning good from guys. Bali. Good morning from Bali. <laughs> it's a Sunday morning. And um, we've been here for like 12 days, I think. Yeah, two weeks. I think a little longer than 12 days. No, we got here like on the Tuesday. I was like, yeah, 12 days. Or yeah, we got here on Tuesday, today Sunday. Okay. It'll be two weeks today. Yeah. We're sitting on all, all that to say then. We haven't really done any recording. <laughs> First two weeks we've been here. No, uh, we've been healing and taking things very, very slow. Yeah, we've been healing and, and resting and resting and healing. <laughs> it's totally what you need after traveling, you know, nonstop for as many yes, as many months as we have yeah. and uh, so we've had several trips to the for me uh, to the acupuncturist at the clinic here in our village our Airbnb host offered to make an appointment for me to see an acupuncturist over at the clinic in the village where we are staying she I believe she sits on the board there it's a nonprofit and um, I've gone there a couple of times it's been wonderful it's by donation there is a minimum donation but not very much and terry and i have seen a naturopath doctor here who's wonderful again in our village um for our overall well-being and health and that's been wonderful so it's not and there's so many restaurants here in the village yoga is a five minute walk away Massages are all here. <laughs> so it's kind of like no real reason to leave the village. <laughs> okay, as you heard, know, yeah, we're staying in a village. And it has like everything we need here. Yeah, it's very, um, very cool, very convenient. And uh, we like it, we like Bali. We love Bali. <laughs> there's there's our natural path, doctor. Yeah, we'll show you where we're at. But... Good morning, we're out from Grub and then uh, Florida, New York. Good morning, thank you along with us. But, till then, and enjoy seeing our little walk through our village. They're playing I'm your pusher man. <laughs> yeah. I'm that in the alley. <laughs> the triple stack pancake, the blueberry one, has passion fruit curd, cashew praline, berry compote, 
and Diplomat Cream. The Nutella one has banana brulee, salted caramel, cashew praline, and the Diplomat Cream. Maple Dreams, country syrup, cashew praline, butter, Diplomat Cream. And they have brioche French toast. Man, that maple drink sounds kind of good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sounds kind of fire. Yes, kind of fire. <laughs> Let me see. Ooh. So I'll order the papaya. That rich smoothie looks Smooth. like. I don't know how good it is, but it's worth my teeth. So I'm not sure how sweet it is. Maybe you can help me out. I also just brush my teeth. Thanks. It's like a it's like a smoothie. Is it tart? It's a little tart. It's not very sweet at all. Okay. Well, right. it is Bali. They tend to do everything healthy here. Yeah. 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 Thin line. A lot of vegan spots here. Like, there's not a lot. I mean, there's some. There's like maybe two or three that I've seen sprinkled in to like 15. And he's saying a lot. There's two or three in the village. <laughs> We're in the village. Two. Actually, I've only seen one vegan spot in the village, actually. Curry? What's it called? Curry? Sage. Sage. I've only seen one. He's tripping. I've seen one vegan spot in the whole village. Oh, like 25 restaurants. He's like, there's a lot of vegan okay. places to see. I'm talking about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there are a lot of healthy choices on these menus, that's for sure. I'll give them that. So, but sometimes, um, sometimes you just have to pick the right restaurant. I think the ones that um, cater a little more to Americans like have a lot more healthy options too. Uh, for right? sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so we didn't have that one for last week. The pork, the skin, the we didn't eat the skin. Yeah, and there was like no vegetables like really on no. that menu at all. No. So you know, like the Bobby Gooling places, you're not really gonna find any veggies. No. Um, they call it veggies, and I think I don't know what I got on there. It wasn't really a vegetable. Was that the water potato place? No. Yes, yeah. and that was the vegetable. It was the super watery potato. It was. It was. That wasn't it. <laughs> no. So, I would say that there are healthy. There are healthy options. You just have to um, pick a place like that, and we haven't really picked a lot of those places because my husband prefers meat. Oh, so I when. So when I see something, I mean, there, there are also meat, but it's going to be a little pricier, and uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still everything's really good, and there are vegetables still yeah, off yeah, vegetable yeah. offerings. Like yesterday, I had grilled fish over a bed of like uh, mm -hmm. green beans. They're really good. And some rice. Oh, it's good. Very good. Your plate was very colorful. Mine was not. <laughs> yeah, fish and chips. Uh huh. But you enjoyed it. I did. We found some. We found two or three fish and chips out here. They're doing pretty good. They all been pretty solid. Really good, especially the face by the waterfall. Yeah, that was amazing. It's hard finding fish and chips back in the states for me. Me I too. Only found anything. It's all me thick too. beer batter. Not even beer batter. It's just like black batter. It's not good at all. It's like panko or whatever, and Local it's just flavor. no flavor. It's just trash. So out here has been. We've been very lucky to find Reap of Blue. Really good fish and chips. All right, guys, we'll come back. That's a lot of meat. A lot of meat. See, that's what we're talking about. That's, that's what he's talking about. That's him. That's what we're talking about. A lot of protein. Yeah, that's a lot of meat. Yeah. That looks beautiful. That hot brown milk. Yeah, it's going to be fine. That's still run. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. I'm just in that. <laughs> well, that's good, honey. Oh, yummy. Nice. You have a whole one in your sandwich. No, no. Oh my. Yeah, that's fire. It's the sandwich with the 
Half brown eggs, sausage, and bacon. And some big old hash brown. There you go. Some kind of barbecue sauce on this for a breakfast sandwich. Pretty good. So I just added up the total from the receipt and did the conversion, and the total with service charge and tax was $17. Three breakfasts we had and a smoothie. In the States, this breakfast easily would have cost like $55. The last time we ordered two breakfasts and drinks in LA, when we went back for Cheyenne's graduation, it was $50 and, um, and it wasn't even this good. This was by far one of the best meals we've had here in Bali so far. And uh, so we highly recommend this place. Black sheep in uh, the Naya Koning village in Ubud. Okay. Here, right at the edge of our village, is Monkey Forest. We had no idea. Whoa! <laughs> I really haven't had the best luck with monkeys. And uh, that's why I didn't want to go to Monkey Forest. <laughs> I had no desire. <laughs> but we just happened to come upon it. And here they are. And there's some monkeys over on that side, too. Yeah, they're pretty nuts. Pretty wild, these little guys. They're not. They're the not the most friendly. <laughs> really, not the most friendly monkey ever. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, I had some experience with them in um, Thailand, and I was like, no, I'm good. And uh, we just happened to come across Monkey Forest, and I'm going to show you a few more right now. Oh, I think they say not to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. They make sure you're watching. <laughs> She said, y'all see that? I think they say not to make eye contact with them, but I'm like, okay. They just put on a little show for us. Yeah. Yeah. So, here they Monkey go. love. Monkey love. You want to go inside monkey for us? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm kind of cool. <laughs> you seen one monkey, you know? You've seen one angry monkey. I've seen one too many angry monkeys coming in my direction, so I'm really good i'm really good on the monkeys look they have the lawak coffee so this lawak coffee is the coffee that's made from uh the animal's poop yeah La lawak yeah it's called the lawak lawak poop it the the lawak reminded me of kind of like a sloth right yeah, because yeah. it was just kind of laying around but they say that they're aggressive and Ooh. it's nocturnal but nice so this is the edge of our like the edge of our village and it looks like it leads into monkey forest looks like i was going the wrong way we haven't quite explored the full village yet and we haven't walked far this is the first time in two weeks <laughs> that we've like gone uh, or walked probably further than two or three blocks around our village a few blocks because we do yoga They're everywhere. They're like across the street on the building where the monkeys are. Oh. Stealing offerings. Yeah. Oh, it's, their, it's their world. We just, we just have fun of But my goodness, this whole area is so beautiful. Yeah. Pretty dope. Yeah.
thing. Yeah, Tina's been going crazy. <laughs> me? Not just me. Okay. My guy, too. We got some things. But listen, we've been uh, holding off shopping the whole time until we got here. When we really going to shop here. Shop in Mexico at all. Uh, Mexico at all. No. Thailand, the Philippines, not Vietnam, so. We're like, and, you, and you've seen me in the same shirt for the past, shirts for the past 11 months. Yes. So, probably in the next few videos, I'll have a new thing on or two, maybe. Yeah, hi. Um, and also, this is totally our style. Like, this yeah. is what we wear all the time. So. Wouldn't be able to tell, because I'm always wearing jerseys and t-shirts, but. True. And I'm in my regular habitat. He wears harem pants and, you know, like loose, colorful stuff. And so like, yeah, this is just kind of our jam. Yeah. Like rompers like this for me. And in the States, they cost about $60, which I have paid once or twice. And uh, now I'm I'm buying them here for like $12. And uh, it's a great deal. And it's exactly the same thing. Exactly. Exactly. Like exact fabric, exact cut, everything. So we're just getting hijacked with the prices in the US because I mean, are you gonna come to Bali to save 40 bucks? Right. So you end up buying it there. So yeah, we're, we're buying some things, treating ourselves, having a nice time shopping out here in Ubud. Oh yeah. Oh, well. It's a little loud. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, this place is so pretty. No matter where you walk, no matter where you look, just green and it just makes you feel relaxed. Probably by design. <laughs> but one of the most prettiest places uh, we've been to, that's for sure. I would. I would. <laughs> I know you would. Like, why does it feel like this here? So there's magic in even though it's like hot and humid and there's like scooters blowing you still feel really calm in your body right yeah i agree interesting Maybe because there's temples everywhere maybe and there's maybe offerings everywhere. right offerings everywhere it's like love and kindness everywhere yeah yeah they built the city off of love and kindness and you just feel it you don't really feel stressed here you know there's a lot of reasons why you probably could all the traffic and uh, noise, but very beautiful and very chill. This is a very, very, very magical place. Yeah, there's offerings all over the town. Every every house, every place has them. So it's like when when all the families start the day. I mean, they start the night before, but when they start the day, they offer up offerings for everybody to have good energy yeah. who enters into their businesses or into their homes or whatever to have like this good and positive light so it's almost like vanishing out the negative yeah and you feel it it works you feel it yeah we need that at home yeah <laughs>
My wife is laughing at me. <laughs> Damn. Terry. Damn. Terry just informed me that you, that women can't go into the temple if they're ministering. <laughs> Good thing I'm not ministering right now. So, going to the market. We pick up some knickknacks for the house. Just some snacks to have. All the between meals. We usually find the market wherever we go. Where we can uh, conserve a little bit of moolah.